Hey guys, welcome back to the Queen Bee Tarot. I'm actually very interactive with my channel. Um, so I wanted to stop in and, you know, get a feel for you guys and kind of let you see me without all the cards in front of me, without all the energies flowing around, without all the craziness. Um, I'm crazy in my own sense. Um, I told, I think it was Pisces, I'm in love with animal crackers. I eat like a box a day and I love cold espresso. So I'm drinking that all the time as well. Um, but I wanted to kind of get in touch with some of you guys because you really, really reached out and I was uh, flattered and surprised. Um, I really want this channel to take off in a different light. Not like most of the channels you see where they just do a couple minute reading and then you have to buy. Like I'd, I'd like to explain to you at the end what I, you know, I've done my Aries through Pisces reading, which I dreaded, not going to lie. I, I handed me my own ass three times in three different readings. Aries, Sun, Leo, Moon, Pisces Rising, all three got an ass handing by the cards and the intuition. Um, but all of those are now done. I'm always playing with something, usually a pen. I like colored pens, gel pens. Um, those readings are now done, so I need a break because I'm... I mean, I'm pretty fucking tired. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. Uh, but I wanted you to see my style of reading that I mainly use intuition. The cards, I see a situation, but I go based off my intuition and what I'm feeling at the time. So some of you may be pissed off at me because I didn't tell you what you wanted to hear. And some of you may, a lot of you resonated with me, which is amazing. Mm -hmm. And I'm so glad to hear that. I'm just going to put this thing on silent. I'm so glad to hear that, you know, you resonated with me and you felt comfortable enough to speak up. Um, because what I'm trying to do here is something totally different. It's going to be, yeah, of course, reading and of course, intuition. Um, I cannot get comfortable. Don't ask. Um, but I kind of wanted to explain the ascension thing now that you're used to me in the way that I read and my bouncy, crazy energy and um, stern love when I have to and kudos when I can. I wish I could read happy for everybody, but it doesn't work that way. Ascending doesn't work that way. And life certainly doesn't work that way. Um, <coughs> but I kind of wanted to talk to you about ascension a little bit. Some of you may be going, what the fuck is ascension? Well, ascension is when you travel spiritually into a higher being of yourself. And when I say that, um, it goes back, way back to Isaac Newton. Uh, he made some sort of um, Bible estimate that the world was only a few thousand years old. And then Albert Einstein came in and said that it's steady, stable, ongoing universe, so it's ageless. Um, but going deeper into that is, and I mean, I'm not perfect in physics, but I'm going to try and explain it as, um, as easily as I can for those of you who just physics doesn't work for you. Um, there is something called the super string theory right now. And basically particles in physics are replaced by one dimensional objects. And those things are called strings. Um, it's kind of like a description of how these things interact through space or integrate with each other. It kind of becomes a web. Um, and when you think about it, that I guess I'm going to skip a whole bunch of physics. So all you physics buffs out there are going to get on my ass, but know that I'm doing this for a reason. Um, if I get into that, we're going to be here all night and some people just don't have the mind for physics. So I'm going to explain it as simple as possible. Um, eventually creating dimensions and these dimensions coexist at the same time that our dimension coexists. But the way physics explains it is that you're able to see possibilities. So ascending into your higher self, means that you're able to see better possibilities for yourself. But the description of each of these um, different dimensions, anything past the third dimension, if you're going to attempt to, some of you astrally project, some of you who are really, really in tune, 
um, you are going to need protection. You're going places you're not supposed to be. Because most of the world is not in tune with this stuff. Most of the world doesn't even know what ascending is. They get up, they go to work every day, they come home, they, I feel hair. They play with the kids. They go to sleep. They get up, they come, go to work, come home every day, cook dinner, play with the kids, go to sleep. There is a piece of hair tickling me and it's fucking annoying me. <laughs> Sorry. So they're not in tune with this at all. Only those of us who are in tune with our signs, our moon signs, our rising signs, are going to understand what ascending is. And I know on a deep level I can explain that. So if any of you are looking to get into ascension and the multi-dimensional levels that exist, the dimensions, and how they work, how we are supposed to interact with them, please email me because I do teach that as well. Um, but typically your spirit guides will work from the sixth dimension. Angels work from the seventh dimension. And then... I'll get into that in a second. And then archangels work from the creation dimension, which is 10. Technically, spiritually, we have 12 levels, but physics has 11. They see 11, the 11th dimension as time. We see the 11th dimension as something totally different. And in spiritual world, we have a 12th dimension. And when you get to that point, you are kind of a hive mind with the entire world. And there's more to explain. I mean, that's just the basics of it. Now, there is some differences. There's um, a theory about 27 dimensions, but past 11, they aren't spatial. They don't take up space. They're time, if I can make sense to you. Um, there's 27 dimensions. They believe that 10 of them you can move in between and bend in between, almost like light. And then the 11th dimension to them is time. And anything past the 11th dimension is math math mathematical information that's held. It's not spatial. It doesn't take up space the way the first 10 do. And then 11 is time. And then anything after that, it's almost like a computer. That's the way physicists see it. In our world, we see it a bit differently. Um, so that's what I mean about ascending. And I wanted you guys to just kind of get to know me on a crazy, not reading level, because I'm a little bit worried. I watched a few readings out there, and I feel like if you're going to read, you have to know what you're doing. You have to know the basis of what you're talking about and really get into it. I know the physics of ascending. Um... I know the different dimensions. I know a lot about it. And I want to make sure that I'm giving you guys the best information possible. Because if you make a decision based on something that I say, I'm responsible for that decision. And I don't sleep at night. Because sometimes I worry. Not only that, you know, I want to make sure my information is correct. My intuition goes first. And then the cards come out and they confirm it. And then the angel cards come out to confirm it. And then out come the unicorns to confirm it. So I confirm, confirm, confirm to make sure that I'm giving you the right advice possible, the best advice possible. I'm a very in-depth reader. Um, I look at some of these other channels and it worries me because they're taking money. And I don't see that they're very um, educated in what they're doing. They're just kind of flipping cards and just telling you things that you want to hear. So I want you guys to be careful on who you're picking for readers. There are some really good readers here, but there are some that just do it every day to, you know, try and hustle money out of people. And that's concerning. So I want you to guys to really take a good look at who's reading you. Um, make sure if it's, you know, even if it's not me, uh, make sure that you're thorough in who you're choosing. Um, since my readings are done, um, up until the first couple of days of June, I do have a doctor's appointment July 5th. That's very important for me to attend. Um, so I will try to get the readings done in between then. A lot of you reached out. I love the whole like, share, subscribe thing because I want to do something new with this. And I need all the help I can get to get it out there. I want to 
fully invest in this. Um, it's a gift that I have, and I've, it's been a dream for a long time for me to be able to follow this. 26 years in the making. I've worked really hard at fine-tuning my gifts, and um, I want it to be a different way that we see ourselves. I want to help people, and not just life coaching, but spirituality and signs and how to get along with certain signs and other signs just aren't for you, but you can coexist with them, things like that. I want it to be a very positive message, and that's why I'm looking for you guys to get it out there. I will interact all the time. You'll probably get these random messages from me, but at least I'm explaining to you where this whole your ascending thing is coming from. It has a basics in physics. It is real. It's not just made up. It's not just a bunch of bullshit so that you guys will pay and all of that. I want you to know that when I'm talking, I'm talking about stuff that I know about, that I've looked into, that I've studied. I want to know that what I'm telling you is real, the truth. So be careful out there uh, for whoever's reading you. And if you need me in the interim, um, I will be answering comments. I will be um, around here somewhere, but I will be taking a break because I'm emotionally exhausted. I literally had to bring in all of those signs energies to do that in just a short amount of time between everything else that I've had to do medically and everything else. So I, blah, 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 blah. that's kind of how I feel. Um, so, you know, go ahead and interact with this video. Let me know what you think. This is a, a new spin on tarot reading, not just, Hey, there's some cards and boom, we're done. Um, I want you to know that there's in-depth classes that you can take with me about ascending, about learning tarot, about, um, you know, how to read, the best ways to read, the right ways to read. If you're going to be reading, I want you to know what you're doing. And I make it reasonable. I'm not out there, you know, there's a there's prices out there, but at the same time, if you're going to go out there and do it, I want you to have the right information and I can be reasonable with you guys. I'm not like other readers like, hey, you know, pay me this $90 before I do your 10-minute reading. Uh, No. No. And just know. And I'm seeing a lot of that. So um, let me know what you guys think. Um, donation link is below. Email is below. If you need me in the interim, you need a personal reading. But please um, share and subscribe. Tell your friends. This is something new that I'm bringing to YouTube that I would like to spread and share. And it's a positive message. Um, it's a positive way of reading. It's a positive way of transcending and coming into your best self. Um, let me know what you think of that and please like, subscribe, share, and comment. Yes, comment. We know I like comments. So throw your comments on there and get the word out, guys. I want to see if this can be successful, if we can make this world a better place. And that's really all I can say is I'm trying to make this world a better place and share that light that I have, um, and the gifts that I have with as many people as possible. I want to change lives. So hopefully you'll help me get there and do that. Um, other than that, I will see you guys in a few days. I'm like ready to fall off my chair in case you didn't notice. I have no energy left for poor Kelly, but it was worth it. I met a lot of you and interacted and you guys are absolutely fucking amazing. So if you need me on the interim, just email me and I will see you soon.